in their first round. So we could have, uh, if that ends in a draw, we'll have some more uh, tiebreak games, playoff games. And Daniel Friedman needs to pull out all the stops with White against Ding after a beautiful performance by Ding with White, something we haven't seen in a very long time. And they are off in the main game. We're going to stay here, of course. Richard looking up, wondering what's going on here. E4, E5 on the board. Yeah, Richard probably checking out the other games, the other opening scene, you know, what are the other pe people playing, right. uh, trying to get last minute inspiration for his own game. But, uh, wow, going for uh, Inter Italian, Italian, quite conventional. Often Richie does something weirder, some Vienna game or a bishop's opening, and now he goes for the Italian, which is as mainstream as it gets. Um, maybe he'll come up with some kind of funky, uh, unusual setup early on here, let's see. Uh, let's see, Richard wouldn't surprise me, you know, with, with anything. Could do some, you know, some early A4 or maybe something even more obscure. Let's see. Magnus thinking already, because you can develop the bishop to C5, you can also develop it to E7, which is very fashionable lately. He's already taking a time, his moment here. It's interesting, because for years people used to do this and it was kind of, this move order especially, people used to do this and it was the, you know, uh, the, the done thing and then Bishop c5 just became all the rage and everybody played it and now people are going back to this idea which was certainly, I mean, I remember Levon playing it quite a lot back in the day and... Uh -huh. uh, so you're saying that some point Bishop c was common? Oh, I think it was much more... I think the, diff the uh, frequency of Bishop e7 versus Bishop c5 w was much more balanced years and years ago, but I'm talking... Oh. Because I don't yeah, think Bishop yeah. C5 has always been. Yeah, no, because I think the, uh, at that point, the Italian was not so common in right, general. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, in the times where the Braille Lopez was still yeah, the yeah. number one by for distance, sure. I think yeah. we saw a lot more of this. So it'd be really interesting to see where Magnus wants to put He's his He's thinking for a bishop. long time, by the way. Okay, yeah. I, I, he couldn't have imagined Richie playing the Italian, I understand that. But still, he's taking quite a thing. Um, I understand where that's coming from, but it's quite a thing. Maybe he's going to go h6. Uh, yeah, and even, uh, okay, you can do h6 and then play normal, develop the bishop to c5 or, or e7, but you can also play h6 and then play g5. g5 yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, this stuff is not uh, not too bad either. Uh, but he's not going to do that. No, it doesn't suit the tournament situation. I think it's really, for him, he's choosing bishop c5 or bishop e7, knowing him. I think he's really choosing. He might do bishop e7. Yeah, that he's thinking long enough that he's getting himself ready for bishop e7. Okay, well, we'll keep an eye on it. We have to keep on it. It's the tournament game. Very quickly, though, there is a game that Anish Giri will know a lot about. This opening here. Yeah, uh, Vincent Remember plays bishop before uh, all the time. Uh, in this tabia. Yeah, let's in this tabia, yeah. This four knights English with the reverse, reverse Sicilian, it's called. Uh, four knights English. Didn't you have a famous game in this line? I, yeah, actually, I don't know if it's famous, but I, for me, it's very famous. Yes, I beat Levon very, very nicely. Yeah. Uh, you were commentating there, or how did you Probably. remember? Probably. Probably, because otherwise you won't remember. So obscure game in uh, Love and Rapid tournament. That's right. That's, that's right. That's right. You yeah. were there, right? Yeah. yeah. Yes, yes. No, I played a suddenly very beautiful game there on my, on my birthday. Actually, maybe I was managing Fabi at the time. Ah, it's possible I was with. It's Fabi. possible. It was not long ago. I remember a, a beautiful game by you, though. Here. Yeah, it was uh, very pretty indeed. Uh, I I think it was b3 here at this very moment, but a3 is the more modern move here. Um, Magnus, by the way, finally put the bishop out to c5. Okay. Uh, Friedman Ding Liren, by the way, is a following their yesterday's game. That's right. And we're getting this reverse Benoni again, but this time Friedman. Uh, David, let's show that. Uh, we'll show that in a minute. Yeah. Let's stay with this because there's a lot going on and mm -hmm. a lot of people are probably wondering what's going on. So first things first, um, the knight is on h4 and that is uh, important because, for example, after the move bishop g2, d6, if you castle here, you do run into g5. Now, in some lines, that is possibly not the end of the world. They often sacrifice the uh, often piece sacrifice, here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't know if you D4, go I think, is the D4. move. And then often what happens is you actually give up the H4 knight, but you win the B4 bishop, because A3 before C5 is trapping it. I and think you have bishop G5 as well. I think H6 is the, ah, the H6. way they do yeah. it, yeah. Because here you probably have bishop G5. Yeah. So it's not the end of days. There's some tricks going on here. 
But we've got a slightly different variation where a3, bishop a5 has happened. Yeah, the, these lines there are all so similar and different. You could play bishop c5 as well, play bishop a5. It's also confusing. Uh, famously, there was a game recently between Pragnanda and uh, Hikaru Nakamura. Hikaru was white in a World Cup, the first rapid game. And Hikaru mixed up the order here, but he mixed up in such a way that, so this g5 came, and he made slightly wrong order, and he just lost the knight for no compensation. He was just a piece down, and he lost the game, and then he couldn't come back in the game after that because he was then hitting the black pieces, which is a lot harder to win than with white pieces. So he just got knocked out of the World Cup because of that. So this position is very double-edged, very tricky also for white if they don't remember. The h4 knight can just, just be lost. Okay. We'll keep an eye on that. Uh, because as Anish was also saying, Daniel has got a similar position, a, a identical position to his game against Ding from yesterday, where we've had this uh, Reti with uh, e6 and then. Yeah, the, the reverse Benoni, Benoni, yeah, yeah. sort of. Mm -hmm. Reverse Benoni. The, yeah, the, the exact same sequence happened uh, yesterday. The only deviation is on move 14. The, 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 yesterday he played c5 giving up that uh, pawn after f5, knight, d6, uh, which eventually happened. And today he went for b4. Takes, 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 takes. For a must win, this is not uh, an obvious choice because a lot of trades have happened. And often what you see is the um, position gets very simplified. I think theory here is f5 is the main move. Then uh, white plays knight c5, black castles, white goes rook b1. I think that's how it goes. Knight before, rook before, uh, queen c5, rook b5, and this position is very, yeah, it's still very, very unclear, uh, but it's somewhat simplified. You know, we have only one pair of rooks, we have only two, pair, two pairs of light pieces, and uh, it is a little bit drawish in, in a way, uh, but uh, rich enough to be, you know, to play for a win. Maxim and Vincent, by the way, trading pieces at the light speed. Um, I wow. think this, this, the way Maxi played, uh, it is a possibility, but it's a very safe possibility and uh, lots of trades. Anything but a draw would surprise me here. Bishop b2, bishop b2. Yeah, this is the thematic idea, yeah, you, you get rid of those bishops and everything gets traded actually. Wow. And some sort of equality here, you would Yeah, think. yeah, yeah, yeah. it must be very foolish. Um, very unlikely anything exciting happens, and so a very likely tiebreak happening. Yes. On this board. On this board. Mm -hmm. um, so we are in, in here for uh, quite a while. Uh, for a while longer. Even though the tournament might be decided, the tournament, the victory, on the first spot might be decided. The third spot is still uh, going to be contested. Okay. And in Rapport against Magnus, Richie's actually gone for knight c3, I mean. Yeah, he played actually against, oh no, he didn't play against me. Yeah, he, he didn't play, no, he played against me, no, sorry, he, he played this against me in the Seafield Cup uh, last year, in classical game, it was quite recent, okay. a few months ago. So uh, he actually played this very system, no, I didn't allow knight a4, I didn't play this, I probably played like a6 in the a6 instead. Yeah, it's great. And then his knight from c3 went to e2 and then to g3. He didn't get much there in that game. But uh, d6 is not supposed to be the most uh, principal because, because yeah, black often doesn't like giving up this bishop. But it's not the end of the world at all. Usually it goes bishop b6. And then after knight b6, ab, black is very solid. And white doesn't rush with taking it usually. And black often trades light square bishop afterwards and bishop against knight. Pretty cold position is not a, not a problem. Uh, so this, this, yeah, this is uh, very solid for Black, very, very solid uh, for Magnus. Position that suits his style also. He likes Absolutely. this. He likes this quite uh, non-threatening positions. With Black, he's always worried that something forcing will come his way, something dangerous, double-edged. With Black, he's not worried about a quiet position where he's just very slightly worse. So he's feeling not threatened at all. He's quite comfortable. Uh, by the way, I did get uh, a lot of tweets coming in in the break, and the game that you were looking for was Neiman against Shamsidin? Yeah, I knew that it was the game I was looking oh, for. I, okay. I just couldn't 
click on it. But oh, I then I afterwards uh, I got a link sent to me, and I, yes. it was actually F G H against H, so it was three against one. Yes. The game of Ding was four against two. I yes. think Ding had a better version actually than that game. Yes. Easier to convert. Okay. I suspect, yeah, because I guess four against two is better than three against one when you are on the pressing side. You have more pawns, so more room probably to. Fantastic. To outmaneuver your opponent. Okay. Keep those uh, tweets coming in, ladies and gentlemen. I'm keeping an eye on everything. Thank you for being so uh, so communicative. And uh, also tweet at Anish Giri as well, of course. Uh, so. Yeah, so A3, they do this A3 move, yeah. Uh, the idea of A3, I believe it is, first of all, to give room for the C4 bishop, so that not knight A5 can. Mm -hmm come back to b2 and also you sometimes want to expand uh, with b4 sometimes um, so that, that's sort of the idea Aha, bishop g4 bishop g4 he loves this move by the way in, in these structures with white with black you'll play bishop g5 bishop g4 I don't understand it I'm uh, curious after h3 because I have a feeling I've seen this but I'm not quite sure anymore. So after h3, what exactly is the... I have no idea. The point? Because I think after bishop h5, you can go g4 here. Knight takes, let's say. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, you can take, go take c3. Take c3 or something. Yeah. Maybe c3 directly. Okay, he went c3 first. Even more logical. But then... What you can do is, uh, you can play like queen d7. Mm -hmm. After h3, first of all, bishop h5, g4 is no longer possible, but also you can just go back to e6 and, uh, and take with the queen. So that this maneuver is something that you can imagine. And taking is out of the question, or what? Probably in this version, I can take knight h2 and I'll uh, go queen f3 and I'm quite safe. Uh, after taking on b6. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, or I mean, before as well, queen just taking h1. Yeah, that doesn't work. It doesn't work, yeah. Mm -hmm. Is h3 first uh, more principal? But you should also be very careful with white, you know, when you play h3. Yeah. Like, can even play like bishop d7, and nine, ninth h3, let's say, instead of c3. But can even play a move, let's say, like bishop d7, and then suddenly g5, g4 is there. Mm -hmm. You have to definitely reckon with that as well. So this h3 move, when you have castle, the opponent has played h6, it's always tricky. So you don't have to rush. Uh, rush uh, with yeah, that. I remember this game I was commentating at the Berlin candidates. Uh, when was it? 2018? Oh, again. Yeah. He just goes rook g8 yes, and you throw the g4 down the board. It yes, was just it's beautiful, yeah. shocking, actually. But that is modern yeah. chess. No, it started so well, the tournament for Vladimir. He really did. He looked yeah. like he was good. And Mamajarov had a good chance at that tournament as well. Mamajarov, what's what's happened to Shakhia? He's kind of yes. Nobody's talking about it, but what's I, going on? Um, I was also surprised. I was thinking the other day, why did he drop uh, from so high to so low? Wh where Relatively where? quickly, but maybe maybe it wasn't so fast. Maybe it happened gradually. A lot of a lot right. of years have passed. But at some point, Schach was world number two. He was 2800. And he was firmly world number two. Yes. He was beating Carlsen every now and then. He was, yeah. And uh, he was older age. Yeah. He was uh, completely number two. Yeah. And, uh, okay, it's not suddenly. Many years have passed. And now he, of course, you know, as strong as ever. But uh, his rating is a lot lower. A lot lower. I think he's out of top 10 for sure. Out of top 20, maybe even. Or at the bottom of the top 20. Um, so, yeah, but uh, you know, many players have joined uh, the party, he's one of the older players, so it's not like he's gone down too much, but just, you know, at the time there was no Abdel uh, Satorov, there was no Gukesh, yeah. uh, it was a different uh, world, uh, you know, sh also Levon Aronian was world number two for even longer and even more convincingly, I guess, because he was, his peak is higher, than, his rating peak is higher than that of Shah. Uh, Levon, I think, it was 2830 at some point, uh, yeah. at least that's how I remember it. And he was world number two for much longer, I believe. But you know, that generation of players, uh, okay, they were dominant at some point, but now with younger generations, I guess, you know, they also have some energy issues, motivation, motivation issues, a big thing, yeah? You've already played for so long. Mm -hmm. uh, so I guess, yeah, they, they, slightly, they slightly dropped, some of them. But it is still, 
unfortunate to see somebody like Jacques just. No, but it's normal. I mean, okay, it's normal. You know, the cir it's a circle of life. That, uh, yeah, I, at some point mm -hmm. he peaked in the ranking, and but he's still, you know, I mean, uh, he'll play top tournament tomorrow. I have no idea he might win it. He's still very strong. Of course. So it's just that okay, yeah, probably stability is gone. Uh, probably he dropped the rating. Uh, and again, the chess landscape changed. New players, mm -hmm. new tournaments. Mm -hmm. um, at some point, he lost some rating. He tried to regain some of it in opens, but that's very tricky path because if you try to regain the lost rating in the opens, you might only lose more. So, um, yeah, currently he's in, in a bit of a rating dip, but Shah is still, uh, yeah, class players, great players still. All right, we have had some moves here. Can you see it? It's so missed. Why, why, by the way, why not to d7? Ah, maybe he wants to meet h3 with bishop d7. Ah, this is probably the reason why. Yeah. Takes, takes. Bishop b3, okay. Yeah, and now regrouping. Mm. And... Funky, funky. A bit funky, right. But the black does have a direct threat, knight g6, knight h4. Yes, Magnus is playing uh, as if he is in the must win, you know, in a, in a way. Because um, he doesn't try to equalize in a modest fashion. He doesn't uh, want, you know, to gain uh, symmetry, king safety. He basically is aiming at kingside attack. Which is a risky approach because, um, you know, the attack can work, can also not work. One way of dealing with knight g knight h4, by the way, is um, I like that way a lot, is uh, to unpin yourself with queen e2, queen e3. This is quite, uh, quite nice. I like, I like queen e2, knight g6, queen e3. Uh, you unpin without getting any weaknesses. You could also do that, maybe that would be more appropriate with h3 first. Uh, so instead of queen h2, maybe you could start h3. But then, yeah, then probably bishop d7. Bishop, bishop d7, you go knight h2, maybe. Knight h2 and... Uh, yeah, g5, g4 is not at all... Uh, yeah, it's just... g5, queen f3 just wins, so... Yeah, so c maybe h3 first, bishop h5, I guess you have to go. After h3. And maybe then... Um, maybe then queen e2, queen e3 is more appropriate. H3, Bishop H5, and here, sorry? Queen E2. Queen E2. Yeah, that's Queen E2. Okay, G5. G5 yeah. is really going for it, huh? Yeah, Queen E3, G4. This is the uh, Blitz try. Yeah, Knight H4. Didn't you? I, we played a Blitz game, Lawrence, one one time in Germany. Didn't you do that? Some G, H6, G5 against me. <laughs> you did. You played Did we? H, you, you played H6, G5 against me, yes. Oh, maybe it started with, maybe you played some... Yeah, I think it was either HG5 Italian or it was a Spanish because you used to remember you beat Swidler on stream famously. Yeah. That one where it doesn't work oh, yeah. but does it, yeah. And uh, that was you had some weird knight g7 Spanish face, right? <laughs> face. Yeah. You had some weird uh, and you were doing some is. against me, not a face, no? No, I don't know. I don't mean but you were doing something like this against me, some uh, desperate yeah. attack like that uh, in the blitz game, I remember. And did it work? Did it work? No. Okay. <laughs> Not. When did we play? No, it was some weird German blitz event, team event. How many? How many years ago was it? Uh, yeah, many. Must be I way before Zollinger. COVID. Yeah, 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 of course. I played for Zollinger. Well, like six years ago or something like that. Five, six uh, years. Ago. Not. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Twenty eighteen. You mean? Could be. Has to be right. Could COVID be. was twenty nineteen. No, twenty 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 two one. Like COVID is twenty twenty. Sorry. Must, okay. Yeah. I, it's it was really kind of a funny, obscure, like it was a very weak German uh, Blitz tournament. Right. But our team showed up pretty strong. Right. I think Erwin was there, uh, some other Grandmasters were there, probably Marcus Rager. I can't remember. Peter Nico was there. He was the only, he was probably the strongest player after me there. Peter Nico was there. I Playing on the same board, I played him actually. Oh, Sagato Lopez was also there. Marcelo Lopez, do you remember that tournament? Marcelo Lopez. I don't remember. It was some kind of play hole, like like a gym type of. Honestly, my brain cells are just yeah. destroyed. I would think that that was your highlight of your chess career, that we, our <laughs> quiz game there. But you don't care at all, yeah? Okay. Sorry, I need chess. Well, it was probably the highlight of my chess career, which is why I remember. Ah. By the way, That's the games are very interesting. The games are very interesting. interesting. Let's uh, especially the Friedman Ding Liren game. Yeah, Friedman Ding is fascinating. Fascinating. The king is protecting itself. We actually went down the line that you said, which was queen a1, f5, knight c5. 
But I thought castle was the line that uh, I knew. But night before also is possible. Sure. Ah, okay. Maybe this is the other way. The Maybe it's a different solution the black can play because yeah, he's up a pawn here, but his king is gonna come to f6. Let's say I play queen b5, bishop c5, knight e5. You'll have to go king f6. You have no other move. Knight g6 yeah, is there. Knight g6. But the king on g6 but is kind super of okay. safe, right? Kind of very safe actually, because they have no pieces other than the knight. And once so you, odd. Once you get this in, it's oh, you have pawn up actually, black. Yeah. So. Pawn up. Winning. Yeah. Rookie one. Why is this compensation? Because of, of that e5 square. And like yesterday's the game again. Similar. I think I might still take white here, but... Yeah. Tough uh, to say. Yeah, yeah. White, white is always kind of nice optically, but... Yeah, I think Daniel actually um, shouldn't be unhappy. In a must win, this position is okay. Like, if you are not in a must win, okay, you're nervous, maybe black has winning chances. But if you are in a must win, you don't care about black swing, you care about your own winning chances, and you kind of... Quite happy. Yeah, the queen b5 played, bishop c5, probably knight e5 will be played. King f6, probably rookie 1 will be played. Or f4 first. I think you'll go rookie 1. Maybe f4 first, maybe some g4. Oh, maybe yeah, some g4. Okay. yeah, f4. Yeah, nice, nice. Maybe some g4 somewhere. Yeah, Ding still has to be careful here, right? I'm just not sure when I look at this position uh, why the queen is on b5. Because I wouldn't mind to swing my queen across e2 or f2 to the king side. So maybe he could have played it with queen on b2, the same thing. Mm -hmm. Like here, yeah, you can go queen b2. Uh, bishop c5, knight e5, king f6, f4. And now I, I like my queen a bit more on b2 because I, I want to swing somehow. But not at all, yeah, it's just a matter of taste, it's hard to say. It's just, uh, just a thought. Yeah, this is going to be very exciting. Daniel going all out here for a win. Uh, Maxim's opening completely, uh, completely uh, failed. Right? Failed, yeah. yeah. Failed is the right word. He is not going to lose this probably, but it's a failure of, of the opening. He has no winning chances. Slightly, slightly worse due to one little pawn structure. Finson traded uh, everything. I think when Maxim went for f3, move 16, he was counting on something like. Queen e6, he was maybe hoping to go g4. Maybe hoping to go g4, bishop g6, f4. But then probably realized that, yeah, just f5. And the c pawn is hanging. Mm. Too risky for white. So after f3, queen e6, he just went for f4. But yeah, this pawn structure, uh, slightly, slightly less good for white than it is for black. And without any active play, so in a position without any light pieces, white cannot exploit the active um, open f-file, pretty much. And if you can't exploit the open f-file, then yeah, this d2, e3 pawns are just a little bit vulnerable. So yeah, white has to be accurate and just try to, to make a draw. I, I would have gone bc first, I don't know why cd. I would have traded one, one more pair of pawns, just to be sure. bc, bc, cd now. Yeah, that looks much more natural. Yeah, it looks even more uh, solid. Looks but it doesn't good. matter much, probably it will transpose anyway. But no, because after this I can take with the queen and it's yeah. a little bit different. Yeah, it's all too little. I mean, you are... You, white, white is not on the good side. Really? I mean, it's, Look, it's you would beat me in this position ten times out of ten with black. I remember you drew Kramnik once. Yeah. And something similar like that. So oh. I'm, I wouldn't say ten but out of ten. Nine out of ten. Kramnik is no Geary. Ooh. Kramnik has been insulted a lot uh, recently, but this one I think is just too far. <laughs> this is going too far. Vlad knows I love it. Shout out to Vlad. I talk to him occasionally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know things have been tough for him recently. You mean the uh, why? Well, I mean a lot of the controversy, the cheating stuff. Yeah, but he sort of went in there himself. Right? No, I know, but it's still kind of... I mean, like, it's strange to sort of feel sorry for him. He took a decision. To, 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 it's it's not that something a, happened to him. He's he himself happened to him. Yeah, he has a conviction, but it, yeah. it, 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 I'm He's not sure how it. healthy it's been for him. To be honest, it doesn't feel like it's been healthy for him to mm. obsess over this. Yeah, but, but I, okay, you mean that it sort of happened upon him without his? Uh, well, I don't know about that. I thought that. it was a conscious uh, decision to mm. sort of. Well, I think it probably was a conscious decision, but irrespective of, 
whether he's right, wrong, or whatever, I, I think the path has not been a particularly... Uh, I'm not envious at all. I, I wouldn't no, go down the path I, I, at all. Not, not, I think not all this me. talk about uh, cheating, anti-cheating, yeah. like you cannot prove anything anywhere. Um, the thing is you can't even prove innocence of anyone. You also can't prove the guilt of anyone. So the whole thing is just, um, yeah, just uh, empty talk, basically. And of course, I was saying that tongue-in-cheek before. Vlad knows I'm one of his biggest fans. And For sure. It was... It was uh, Legendary. Legendary. Ah, he's a legend. He's a legend. And uh, do you think know. many other people have beaten Gary Kay in a match? Well, not many. Not many people have beaten Gary Kay in a match. That's true. Uh, Let's see how Finns will the recapture. Ball, interesting. Yeah, the more drawish option. Uh, they are both, I think, fine to coast. Yeah, I think he's basically saying he wants to pressurize yeah. here yeah, and yeah, rook d four. Well, well, coast, but black is still more comfortable. I couldn't anywhere. Something like this. Uh, if I were white, I would uh, try to encourage a rook end game, a drawn rook end game. Mm -hmm. I would try to encourage a queen trade mm -hmm. because uh, with more pieces on the with the queens on the board, slightly weakened king uh, can can be an issue. White's king is slightly weakened. Yeah, that's the problem. Besides the d two e three pawns, the pawn on g three is also ugly. Had the pawn been on g two. It would have been a bit nicer right. for white. And now, um, yeah, but not the most exciting position. I think they find a way to uh, to make a draw. Maxim is a very sharp, uh, good player, good defender. He should not lose. He doesn't lose such positions usually. No, no, really. I don't think he loses such positions. So no, the okay. Richie against Magnus. Yeah, this is uh, super exciting because uh, Magnus is the pieces. They are calling for g5. Yeah, they are. He has uh, put, he's, he's gone all in on g5. Yeah. It's too late to castle and try. I mean, Bishop, Queen C, Bishop, Descent, like, he's gone all in on, he, he has to go g5 now. Yeah, otherwise, Richie's just going to go d4 and have a very pleasant position. Or, you as you said. You can still, like, you can still um, fold castle d4, knight g6. You can still fold. It is late. Maybe it's not too late. Maybe you're still very solid, only slightly worse. But at this point, you are somewhat pot committed to g5. Right. G5 knight h2. I mean, when you usually when you meet g5 with knight h2, it's not so dangerous. Very risky for uh, for black. Very very risky. Kind of, n not exactly long term, but kind of, yeah, you could say long term risky because the king, the black king is also very vulnerable, so it's safe nowhere. The g4 business is not coming, not happening at all. So you sort of are gonna play for knight g6, knight f4, but then bishop e3, d4, sometimes h4, sometimes g3. I imagine some g3, knight f4 somewhere. Very risky for black. Very risky. I'm curious what he will do now. He's thinking. Normally you go g5, but he doesn't want to lose. Yeah, Magnus is actually in a, this is a tricky moment. He was sort of bluffing, uh, it seems. He was bluffing. Thinking that he is not, he can always fold, but now he realizes that folding is not fun because uh, Queen C8, Bishop D7, what was uh, Queen C8 is the for sure a lost tempo. Like it's a very very odd square for the queen. It only makes sense in connection uh, with G5 because you he made this move Queen C8 to delay castling and to have this G5 thing. Let me see how did Richard trick him. Yeah, yeah, Richie was yeah, go on, carry on. Tricky, yeah. Bishop in for check also. He 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 tossed that check in. Sharp. Very sharp. Very very sharp. You betting on G five or not? I think he has to do it. As you said, I think. But he's, he's thinking a little bit too long. He just has to, no? Well, let's say he does castle. It's just bad, right? Knight h2, no, h2. Yeah. Knight h2 in the four. 
in if knight g6, just f4, you have bishop f4, knight f4, rook f4. Yeah, queen on c8, that's the culprit. Like, you have to come back, then d4 comes. Some kind of insane uh, king's gambit here. Yeah, because this is actually... Yeah, some king, king's, king's gambit on steroids here. d4. No, no, he cannot castle. But what, so he's not thinking about castle, he's thinking about something else. Um, okay, knight g6, knight g6 directly, yeah? Uh, his other move, not, not castle, but knight g6 first, of course. Yeah, no, castling is out of the question, but knight g6 first, maybe. That's maybe an option. Knight h2 now, maybe now knight f4 or something, I don't know. Looks really... No, it looks very sus. No, no. It just takes d4. Take d4, no. it's just... No, no, what are we talking about? No, this is a disaster. Okay, so I'm not like just Okay, chances for Richie Rapport. Magnus, yeah, Magnus shaking his head there. Magnus blowing his cheeks. So he's thinking, basically, he's thinking, why did I end up here? Yeah. You played such a timid line. Why did I put myself in the situation yeah. where I have to go all in? Like, yeah. what, why, why am I here? He's like, it yeah. was a must draw. What yeah. am I doing? Why am I, why am yeah. I doing it? Because if he was not in a must draw, he would just go G5 and G6, just play quickly, right. uh, bluff him a bit, uh, keep putting pressure. But in that situation, the psychological situation is not at all favoring him. Wow, Richie coming back would be huge. We knew that. Would be absolutely massive, Richie coming back. What an unbelievable story it would be. We'd love to watch the games between Richie Rapport and Magnus Carlsen forever, wouldn't we? 96 was all yeah. 96 actually played. Yeah, and this, uh, he's not happy. When he's not happy. Oops, no, so no, no. Two, Shaking his head. Is he, is he lost on Magic 2 or, or what? I think it's losing. I mean, I mean, <laughs> it's lost, no? people are going to say, who are you to say whether a position is losing or not, but I'm, al I'm allowed to. No, because the lines that the computer is saying, they look lost to me. It so. looks dead. Knight h2 is just horrible for Magnus. And the lines that look not so bad for black, the computer says they're lost. <laughs> so, so I don't know. <laughs> like, looks very bad. I mean, one line the computer says is completely insane. That's knight h4, f4, knight g2. It looks so bad to me, like, so bad. Okay, just take on g2. No, no I don't see why I need to go with fe. Yeah, and then just go king g1, bishop of one, queen of one. Two bishops. Yeah. Two bishops for a rook, I mean. Yeah. Okay, you, you have two pawns, but we have full board, full of pieces. Your pawns are not going anywhere. I don't know, this looks very bad to me, but... Okay. Two pawns, maybe there is some. Computer goes for long castle, twenty six on long castle. But yeah, this is not happening. It's too way too. Uh, it's just bad also, and the risk is an understatement. Now, as knight h two, what does he want? I'm not sure the players are, will realize how bad castle f four is because it yeah. doesn't look as bad as the computer says it is. But it's pretty bad. And the still four is pretty good. Magnus, surely, surely not. Richie to, to win this and go on to win the tournament? Is it possible? It's not likely. I mean, uh, you know, being in a must draw, and to play it. Nice. Just castle. Oh, he hates it. He hates his position. No, I think Richie will, might win this, but you have to understand that to beat... I've played Magnus in a lot of these matches. To beat Magnus when he's in a must draw is a lot easier than to beat Magnus. Because also when you are in a must win against Magnus, finally, that whole psychological thing of him be, being scared of him, that's gone. You're not scared of him. When you uh, are in a must win and you are equally scared of a draw as you are scared of losing to him, you can play normal. So that and he also suddenly Suddenly, you know, the hunter becomes a prey. Mm. When you are in a must win, Magnus is in a must draw. Whatever he is, uh, whoever you are, suddenly the situation is such that you are the hunter and he's the prey. Just by these are the rules now. You are hunting. And that shifts the situation completely. So I've beaten Magnus much more in situations, or I was close to beating him also, much more in situations when he was in a must draw than otherwise. It was also much easier in a way. Um, I even between the black ones in the must, uh, mm -hmm. mu must win situation. Because, yeah, the psychology just works so much more in your favor. Very interesting insight, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, what you've just heard there. 
All right, let's quickly go to the Friedman game while I get pinged here by the people. Um, what do we think about this position here? H4 is uh, cool. H4 is cool, right? Yeah, it's cool just. It's just cool. I, I don't really understand uh, anything here. I don't know what's happening. I mean, I would take white here every day of the week and twice on a Sunday. Yes. May I just add? Yes, but your resources are rather limited as well. You are missing uh, some. You're missing a piece that's that gives a check. You know, <laughs> like everything is nice, but you need to check that king. Nobody's checking the king. The king is just chilling yeah. there. The king is kind of surrounded. In the back house, you need, in the back house, this would be lost for black because I would be able to put a piece somewhere. So I would put like a rook on g6 or a bishop on g5 or a pawn on g5. Yeah, this is just totally losing. I need to bring one more piece. But in the game of chess, it's difficult here to somehow get to the king. It's just there. It's chilling on f6. Not with this position. It's not. It's not looking so bad. Knight h7 maybe. Not this position is not looking so bad. All right, we'll go back. Richie did in fact play f4. Maybe knight h7. It is very bad, but it's the first impression it's not so bad. Very little pieces and. In the attack, but yeah, just d4 in the zone. Queen on c8, so misplaced, so misplaced. Yeah, no, he's fixing the queen. Yeah, queen d8 makes sense. Yeah, just d4, okay, I d4 guess. d4 will be played. And. Yeah, I so. Vichy would love this position with white. I think anybody would, but uh, Vichy would probably convert it the best, yeah? That's what you mean. I think Vish, like, if I had to choose one player in the world to play this position with white, it would be Vishy. Then I choose Magnus first. So. After Magnus. It'd be Vishy, then it would be Fabi, I think. And yeah, Fabi, I don't know because. No, Vishy. This is a Vishy position all day. Uh, Fabi is too used to getting advantages in e45 positions that he takes, the, he takes them for granted, you know? He doesn't, he doesn't, uh, such a position that he takes for granted. He's like, oh, another, another. Uh, you need someone who appreciates it. You know who should get a nice shout out now? Who will, who will be, who's now watching him is like, me, me. You know who is that? Peter Liko. My boy Peter would love this position love this. as well. He would love this. If you said, Peter, you can have this position every day of the week and twice on a Sunday. <laughs> He's like, I'm back, I'm back. Come me, come me. I'm back. Guess who's back? <laughs> He'll be back to competitive chess before you know it. But um, one plan, uh, idea rather, that might, um, might be an attempt to bring some harmony back is g 6 h 5 g 6 h 5 is a nice way to try and somehow regain the coordination. But th that also has its... Right, I've, Very I've, vulnerable. Uh, I've got an idea. Hear me out. So after g6, I want to go like queen d3. Knight h5. Knight h5, let's say rook uh, f2. Oh, and no, rook f2, queen g5. Queen g5, yeah. yeah. Uh, then I've got knight f3, you put the queen somewhere on g3, it's a bit unclear actually. Mm. Yeah, just since I don't see immediately what's. Uh, because what is happening here is I am piling up on the f6 knight, the knight has to leave. He has to somehow exit the pressure, leave. And um, yeah, I was going to g5. Yeah, this doesn't look so bad, huh? Yeah, it looks all right. I'm going to say there's a cost to loss, though. What does he know? He doesn't. Has he ever played back to I have to say, cost? honestly, the evaluation of this engine is really slightly beyond me. Uh, to my eye, if I would look like this at the position, try to ignore the computer. Yeah. No. So you'd say it's sliding. I imagine forward. I sit there uh, across Magnus. I have this yeah. position. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't think I have time. We, like, I mean, I, I'm happy, but I, I don't think that I have already won the game or something. Like, really not. No. I think we're only getting started here. Right, of course. And I see myself, like, there are so many options, 
I can totally imagine um, messing this one up. Oh, he does it slightly differently. Rook a5. Uh, but I think the idea oh, is the good. same and maybe even better. He wants to go knight h5 and then maybe rook g5. Mm. By the way, it's really far from over. Like, I'm, I'm sure you're going to give me a very nice odds and I'm going to bet on Magnus not losing. You giving me nice odds? Right? <laughs> of course I'm not giving you nice odds. Ah, okay. How can I give you nice odds? Because I know the computer is able to nicely uh, I mean, tilt what, the balance in my you favor. Can have, like, e you can have like even money that he's not losing if you want. No, but I wanted really nice odds on that. That I mean, is nice odds. odds. You're getting even money. No, but come on. His position is close to lost according to the computer. Yeah, but Richard... Oh, Robert no. I know. Even money, of course, I'm not... Uh, even Although, money you know, is the actually, best. Actually, I think this even money is, the, is, I think is a fine it's deal. It's unbelievable It's a fine deal. deal it's but I wanted to scam you for, for a better... You want to scam me? I want to scam you for something better. <laughs> Great. More scams. I actually think even money is a very fine deal here as well. Yeah. And uh, Magnus not losing this? Oh, yes. Oh, my God. You get a draw and a win and yeah, even yeah. money? No, no, it's completely fine. Yeah, yeah. No, but I want, I want have to scam you out of even more. Like you can more. have it for, because you owe me one chocolate egg. So <laughs> this is this is you to get your chocolate egg yes, back. Yes, no, Magnus is not losing this position. I'm sorry. I actually think Magnus will lose, but somehow I've got a feeling that the... The, the, the game of Vincent and, Mag uh, and uh, MVL, it has the potential to uh, simplify uh, further. Mm, and uh, yeah, this is uh, yeah. It, it is very likely to end in a tie break. This one, yes, very likely that this match will, will be one-one. So not much action there. The Daniel Friedman's position is still. Oh, it's a draw. Wait, wait, no, something, some error. Oh um, no, maybe it's not a draw. Shouldn't be. Can can we see the the camera view? No, it is. They drew. But wait, they drew. What is the last move? Bishop c5, knight e5, and maybe. Oh, they repeated moves. Oh, they repeated. They repeated moves. Oh, Daniel, I think Daniel just doesn't He doesn't just didn't care. want to play, yeah. yeah. I think, honestly, he doesn't like to play Ding also. Yeah, I think he has a problem against Ding. I mean... He, he doesn't enjoy playing Ding. No, he doesn't like. No. Like, he feels Ding's vulnerability. Yeah. He doesn't like it. Mmm. Bit of pity. Yeah. Maybe. Strangely enough, I think... I actually agree with no, you. No, I, I think that I'm, Yesterday, I was even wondering... Like, it sounds insane. But I was wondering, maybe subconsciously, yesterday he, he didn't want to win that game where he could win with Rook to AC5. Like subconscious, on sub subconscious level. I have that because it makes no sense uh, to not fight for, for the fifth place. All right, well, that means, well, our job is a lot easier. Uh, Ding gets fifth, Daniel gets sixth. That is confirmed. So he can definitely make a move here, and he knows it. Of course, he can play Rook E1, he can play Queen B2, he can play. Yeah, I think he just doesn't want uh, to play. Yeah. yeah, doesn't want to play. He was done. Yeah, it's uh, underst okay, understandable on some level. Yeah. Okay, well that means we've got two more games. Let's stay with Carlson. Yeah, now this one is uh, really very exciting. The most fun games are always uh, when Magnus is either in a must-win situation and doesn't have a big advantage, or when he's um, in a must-draw and is half lost. These games are really fun to follow. Because then it actually, it actually is close then. It actually is exciting. Otherwise, he usually just wins with the margin. But now it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of exciting. I think he's okay. I think he's kind of okay here. Relatively. Relatively speaking. For example, this move queen d2 that the computer suggests, well, I, mean, I think that's, that, that's not uh, at all. Logical, no? Yeah, but it doesn't look great to me because I'll go knight h5. And queen g5. And queen g5, yeah. Ah, rook f3, queen f2. Okay, okay, queen f2. Yeah, yeah I missed this rook f3 thing. Yeah, yeah, this is very nice. Sorry, I missed rook f3 somehow. Yeah, this is nice. Yeah, so queen d2 actually, yeah, then queen d2 is, uh, is a great move. Yeah, then actually, why are you even doubting that? Just make play queen d2. Yeah, it's just the, the, the classic... Okay, but maybe Rook G... Maybe Rook, rook G5? Knight F3, and you want to park the Rook on G6, or... Um, but you even G3 before. is not out of question. I'm trying some Knight H5, some... Some concrete. Knight H5, Rook H4, Rook F3, GF. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, this is, win this is winning for you. He goes to d3. 
which sets up a nice little idea. For example, guys at home, if you think this is sort of position where you can just play any move, well, you can't, because now white hits you with e5, pawn takes, and now very nice removing the defender of h7. Amazing, and he's very happy, of course, to provoke bishop b5, because bishop b5 makes the rook on a5 looks look very, of very dumb. Yeah. Now, if you go rook e8, the no, same idea no, doesn't no, quite work, rook f1, no. you just go rook f1. Now you really threaten this yeah. exchange sacrifice in a lot of lines. Do you um, think Magnus will allow the, the will f will realize that's the best he got? Because computer says rook e8, rook f1, rook g5 is not so bad. But of course, it is so counterintuitive to do that. Like for me, it is. It would be very hard. Uh, but I thought even. Yeah, because now I'm escaping with the king. Yeah. Also, d rook f6, e4. Yeah, is the thing. This e4 move all the time is the thing. That's. Problem. That's actually Otherwise, the problem. you would probably win. That's what I'm, I was thinking. Yeah, you e4 probably is win. massive yeah. because this check, king f8, we take check, and I win because king e7, queen takes f6, and I and I and I uh, mate you on f7. <laughs> just don't think Magnus will allow. Uh, I don't think he'll allow rook f1. This is just and, ro and rook takes f6. And here, rook g7. Probably I have a few wins here. Yeah, rook f3, rook g3. That's a nice one. Yeah. Rook f3, rook g3. This just wins the, just the rook on the, on the pin, yeah. Yeah, we've even uh, yeah, and king, king g8 is a nice finish. King g8, rook g3, rook g3, uh, and, and uh, bishop mate. H7. Bishop h7, bishop g6, this famous mate. I teach my students this. Yeah, this is the you mean step when mate. <laughs> whatever when you called. don't do the commentary, you teach your students. Well, when I sometimes coach, I, I, this is one of the key ideas. So, what does this all mean? Well, this all means that... Uh, you have to be careful, but as Anish said, in this line, after e5, there's a fantastic counter shot, Zvishensuk, he classic e4, and that is a cold shower, because here actually, you just lose. There's no more mate, black is solid enough, and you lose. Yeah, this is the line that Carlson has to find, it seems. It seems that there is nothing uh, better than that. And I think you need the move rook e8 because currently e5 is a threat. I would strongly, very strongly consider knight h5. And since I'm a noob, I would probably play knight h5. Nothing wrong with this move. No, a lot of things are wrong with this move. <laughs> no. Your whole thing is not, black pieces are just not I mean, you got Guys on the rim. No, there's nothing happening here. I mean, white's play is so easy. I mean, you've got rookie one, you've got e5, always is an idea. Now, the drive is what the noob would play. And the castle will play is uh, rook e8, only move. There yeah. is also, of course, the c5 idea, e5, c4, but c5 is just rook a1, yeah? Now, castle play rook e8, rook a1, and rook g5. He has to play it, apparently. Yeah, I don't, don't know. I don't think I would find it. I, 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 I still think Richard is going to win this game. I think it depends on the next move. If Carlson finds Rook 8, Rook 5, because for me, like, I feel that when Rooks are lined up against the Knight and there is an exchange second coming, I need to remove the Knight. Like, I just need to remove it. That's, that's what, I, what I usually would think. But you have to think here beyond that, you have to allow the sec. And so if Carlson finds it, he's back in the game because Richie will be frustrated not seeing a win. But if Carlson doesn't find it, his position will be very, very bad. And then he will very likely lose this game. Yeah, he might find it by elimination. Let's see. I don't know. Rook 8 or knight h5. Let's see. Let's see. He's getting ready to He's move. just about to make a move, that's why uh, he is going to play quiet. Here. He's about to make a move. Okay, now he's back. But... Yeah, he's back into the thinking pose. Yeah, this position is all about peace coordination. Black is trying to coordinate his pieces. 
they're not coordinated, but they're just trying to get them all together, mm -hmm. get them to work together, mm -hmm. and avoid the direct attack. If knight h5, the knight is here, rook is there, bishop is there, everything is, you know, all different. They're crisscrossing each other, rook uh, a5, mm -hmm. knight on h5, don't, queen on g5, mm -hmm. rook on a5 is not, you know, disturbing everything. It's mm -hmm. just the whole thing doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. Rook a8, rook g5, it puts it all together. Magnus clearly still unhappy, of course, with... No, because it, it's an, uh, like an optical um, obstacle. This rook takes f6 thing, you know, rook f1, like... You want the knight out. This is the culture the thinking. You want the knight out of the way. Um, but you have to go beyond that... Uh, slightly, go slightly beyond that. By the way, not that it's... Um, very... Maybe not that it's a big deal, but Vincent lost a pawn, right? Oh, right. Let's have a look. Queen c1, no? Ah, black is to move. Sorry, black is to move. Black is to move. Okay, we didn't lose nothing. So I thought white was to move. Yeah, now I just take and take on a3. Yeah, this is just equal. Okay, so no, no news on the, in, in this game. Uh, Daniel's game is over. Yeah, so basically uh, all, eyes on, all eyes on Carlson. 19 minutes versus Richard's 26. So that's quite a nice little time advantage. Yeah, this is a crucial moment. I'm very curious what move is going to come here. Very curious. Yeah, he was ready to move and now he's gone yeah, back. And I'm curious what, what move that was also. Which move was he ready to make? Indeed. It's an absolutely critical moment in the game. Whether you lose or you don't lose is decided. It's uh, largely decided here. Of course, Richie can still uh, let him back into the game somehow. Oh, he thinks he's lost or what? No, I think this, 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 yeah, no, he's just disgusted. He's disgusted. He's just like, what a disgusting position I have. He doesn't see rook 8, rook g5. Can you just tell mean, me how bad is the uh, rook takes f6 sack? Just if I just sack what? directly. Rook 8, rook f1, yeah, rook no. g5, just rook takes f6. That is, uh, yeah, that, okay, this is not, not at all a problem for, for black, no, yeah? No. Not at all. No, so not at all. You have it's an optical illusion. Yeah. yeah. It's an optical illusion. So he should just allow it. And e5, d, e, rook f6, e4, he should see that. But he is disgusted. He's disgusted, of course. He doesn't see this uh, rook 8 idea simply, I guess. What else is there to play? There's though? nothing else. That's why he's disgusted. He should find it, actually. Especially given the, that he understood the, the gravity of the situation. He understood fully the gravity of the situation. And so without the trick, he is lost. He, he got it now. Mm -hmm. Now he needs to find the trick. Yeah, don't, don't play knight h5. That's what I would play. Don't, don't be a noob. MBL versus Kaima is about to end in a draw, by yeah, the way, via repetition. repetition. Yeah, yeah. So we are going to get a game. Uh, tiebreaker, right? Tiebreaker, yeah. Yeah, this is GG. And no, this, this is... is yeah, let's, repetition? Uh, well, let's go back to the only game, basically. The only game of the round that's left. Let's go back to... Uh, okay. And see. I want to see. Let's watch, you know, the... Man at work. All right, the key game. Magnus now, like, looking at the skies, like... Disgusted. 16 minutes. Nice 10 minute advantage now for Richie on the he clock. He really feels the critical moment. That's yeah. a good, good sign for his fans because he really feels that this is the, the moment deserving a thing. Mm -hmm. A proper thing. And you've got there a nice uh, overview of the hall. What is, uh, let me briefly check with my phone what happened yeah. in the open. Let me check what happened in the open tournament. Very exciting finale there. Hans Niemann was fighting for the first place. Uh, okay, Kolars Fedosev is a draw, so they are out of the running. Uh, Sharic Regaisi and Hans against uh, Mr. Ivich. Hans is, by the way, Hans is actually winning, so Hans might be the winner of the tournament, unless Regaisi, let's see what, what's up with Regaisi. Regaisi is, yeah, Regaisi is a very, very complex position. He might win, he might also not win. 
Okay, Hans is basically leaving. Five. Whoa, that is uh, understandable. Basically, what it is, um, he understood this how dire situation is. He didn't see Rukiate idea, and he. This is the ultimate sort of, you know, desperate attempt to solve the problems. And it's very desperate. Richard move. is coming back, but a bit happy really and shocked and. No, it's really bad, by the way. No, it's really, really desperate. He didn't find Rookie 8, huh? He probably missed the DE4 idea. Surprising. I thought he would find it. Especially after a long thing. And Richie's like, okay. No, Richie completely... Uh, Loves it. Richie's like, wow. Oh. Wow. ED? I mean, you just take. So, okay, what else do you, you want you now? You can't take here because Rook takes F6 is immediately the end of the game. And his idea is just, it must be G6, the only move. G6, but now rook AF1. Then I will not, well, why not Knight C4? Knight H5, rook takes F7 doesn't work. Knight D5, no. rook F7 you want. Ah, no, but then rook G7, yeah. No, but why not C4, C4, no, just... No, no, I know C4, but C4? this move is also crying out to be played. But Knight D5, I think there's no... Rook F7, there's no mate, right? No, because I have rook F7, rook G7. Rook G7, yeah. No, 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 uh, C4. C4, B5, I think. But B5 even... Yeah, C4, B5, 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 B3, I'll take, take B5 again or something. Oh, maybe also rook of rook of one, bc queen d two, rook a six. Uh huh. And b five, rook of one, bc queen f three. Knight d five, rook of seven. B five, rook of one, knight h five. I think b five is the only move. I mean, there's nothing else. Like, what are we even talking about? B five is his idea. B five is the only move. Yeah, rook of one. So BC Queen F3. Now this is just losing, I think. You're just losing F1. Now this is lights out. Instead of BC, I think your only move I can see is Knight H5. Rook F7. Oh, you take twice. Oh man. King takes F7. Take. King F8. Take. Can you just take Knight G7? Queen H8. Yeah. Queen H8, and you have to go King. No, it's is mate. Queen G7 is mate and so on. B5 played. Okay, rook f one. Rook a six is the rook a six is the, the resource you have. Rook a six ah, is the last okay. resource you have. Rook f one, rook a six, d six. Yeah, rook d six. No, it's not obvious. Rook d six, c five. This yeah, is rook, beautiful. Rook back and queen f three. Or bishop b three. Sorry, why not queen f three directly then? King ah. g seven. Ah, queen just king g seven. Yeah. This looks so clean. Queen f three. King g seven. And d5. He threatened to shut off the sixth rank. With c6. Yeah, but let's say that it also kind of feels so shaky for black. He's already down a pawn and he's still shaky. No, this and is queen c3 and no, it's over. No, Carlson didn't. He felt, the, he felt the critical moment. He saw that ordinary moves lose, but he, he didn't find the sick rook uh, g5 idea. It's findable, findable, of course, especially. If given how much time he spent, but yes, he tried something else desperate, but uh, okay, this whole sequence is not easy, of course, yeah, you need to see rook f1, bc queen f3, it's one difficult move, rook f1, rook f6, d6 is not a difficult move, a lot of, uh, a lot of Are difficult, they difficult moves. moves? I explained to me, rook f1, rook f6, why not just queen f3, I don't understand. Oh, maybe it's also good, I don't know. I mean, I don't get it at all. Same thing. But why not just c5 now? Uh, g5, 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 yeah, c5, g5, yeah. Yeah, suddenly my rook is trapped. <laughs> That's actually quite cute. Yeah, so maybe he saw this far. Mm -hmm. Maybe he saw this far. And d6 is uh, d6 is very deep. D6 is super deep. But even other moves are good here. Yeah, like let's say even just b3, it's quite good. Yeah. Yeah, b3. Although is then maybe again bc bc b5. Yeah, that's what I think. This is the natural follow-up. Yeah, not clear if you have improved uh, his white. Okay, Richie knows. Richie knows that he's winning, right? Richie feels. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's gonna go. Repeat. No, Richie, he's got that vibration. Yeah. The vibration is is on today. Richie feels the one he's winning. The vibrating sensation is there. Richie's in good uh, shape in this tournament. 
very good shape in this tournament. So fantastic shape. Yeah, playing one bad well. day. Ah, yeah, yeah, and then he came back fully. And then he came back fully. Yeah. No, Richie is, he's already beaten Carlson once in this tournament. Yeah. So it's not the first time for him. Carlson is away. I guess he's probably somewhere backstage, shouting at himself. Well, you shouldn't panic. I mean, um, he's been there so many times. Um, he, he just has to recompose himself and beat Richie in the tiebreak. And he likely will do it. He's done it many times. He's many times he's had those matches where he would lose the comeback game and then win, win it anyway. He plays particularly badly games that are must draw. Uh, not only him, I think everybody. I think if you make a um, statistic on how people play must draws, mm. People play very badly, especially if you make not only the result, but especially the quality of the games. The level is so bad in must draws really? and must wins. Yeah, horrible. From my, okay, my, my own games particularly maybe, but in whenever me or my opponents are in must win, the games are so bad, so bad. So, mu so much nerves and so many mistakes. And Did we find out who uh, is actually uh, winning the Open? Tournament? Hans uh, is for sure one no. player. Yeah, Hans. No. Yeah, yeah. Now Hans is uh, likely to win his game. And uh, Arjun might catch Marjun or Sharic actually. Arjun and Sharic are sh sharing with him and they are having an unclear equal position. But Hans is having a winning position already. Wow. With 97.8 accuracy so far. So yeah. wait, so if, if Hans wins, he wins the whole thing? Uh, at least shared. He's on 7 out of 8. And uh, the other two people that are on 7 out of 8 right now are playing each other, Sharish and uh, uh, Ergaisi. So Hans, if Hans wins, he guarantees himself a share of first, second. Uh, possibly uh, unshared first. Yeah, rookie 6, yes. Now, now is the moment. Uh, this rookie, is it. Yeah, rookie 6, yes, yes. This D6 move, yeah? The 6 is the queen. I chart. think he's going to see it. It's very thematic. You cut the communication and you gain a tempo with C5 after and it allows... It's clean. It's clean, the bishop can come to b3. Yeah, because first you see queen f3. You yes. see queen f3. Yes. Oh, you first don't look at b6. First you see queen f3. You see king g7, you see c5, you see g5. Problem. You can miss g5. Though. No. You can't. No, no. You, no, but if not g5, then you don't, you don't think that you... Your default thought is not that I'm beating Carlson. Your default thought is, okay, what does Carlson want? So you, you, you see g5 because there's no other move. So you find g5. It's not a bullet game, also it's 20 minutes, so he will see g5. Because you also think that Carlson has some thought, right? He, you don't always assume that so he has some idea. So you should always assume that Magnus has some idea, basically, right? This you is definitely. what you should do, but this is what you do, right? You okay. just, I think but do you have the same thing with other players? Like, yeah, yeah, with other strong players, yes. Yeah, but yeah. if you were playing, I don't know, let's say you're playing, let's take a weak player like um, Laurent Fessinet, for example. No, it's a joke. Shout out to Laurent. If you're watching, buddy. Uh, no, let's say you're playing. Yeah, Laurent uh, Laurent depends on the time. Like, let's say you're playing a 2300 player, right? Yeah, I rarely play those. I don't know uh, what sort of mistakes they can make. But let's say, even if I'm, let's say I'm playing a player like Laurent, if he spends some time and he has 14 minutes left, I think he has an idea. An I idea. think that, that idea doesn't work, probably. But he has an idea. An idea. Yeah, yeah. So I think that against the most direct play, probably he has some defensive idea, which probably doesn't work because it looks also better. Uh, if Laurent play makes a move with no time on his clock, I think very likely he just panicked, yeah, and he doesn't have an idea. So that's also possible. But that goes even even with uh, uh, Carlson. If Carlson makes a move with zero, you know, with one second on the clock, you could also think he panicked. So but when Carlson spent like ten minutes, he has thirty minutes left. Clearly, he had some idea, and you find the idea is kind of flicking g seven c five g five. Then you go a step further. You think, okay, what what I what else can I do? And I don't know if d6 is a given, honestly. d6, rook d6, c5. I think it's a given. Oh, the, with, it's with so which order? thematic. In, In which this order? order now, he plays d6. But there is a uh, bishop c6, bishop c6, not somewhere. But when queen, queen no, comes d5. to f3. I play d5. I mean, uh, so what is your, your order? D6? I will go d6. Rook d6? Queen, uh, queen f3. Uh, sorry, c5 first. I beg your pardon, c5. Yeah, now, I'm, yeah, now I can play rook. E6 probably loses even more, so rook a6. Yeah, queen f3. Yeah, I mean, now there was bishop c6, but bishop okay, queen, queen f2. Okay, queen f2. Queen f2, yeah. No, Richie plays d6, I trust. I know Richie. I know my Richie. Carlson has certainly seen it. Uh, of course, certainly seen it. Yeah, uh, no, he should queen d6, you're right. 
It's true. It's true. It's uh, quite it's doable. It's thematic. It's in flow. Yeah. It's the cut. It's the gain of tempo. It's the opening the diagonal. It's the it's uh, you know the money move. It's the like who like Levon would just play d6 in two seconds. <laughs> Okay, but first, not not a, not a problem yet. I mean, maybe. What do I know? No, no, clearly but, I know. No, no, but he may he maybe will play this next, next, next move. Next move, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, King G7. King G7 is the only move, and then D6. Yeah, now he's got it. No, then he's going to go D6. Yeah, he's not. He's move. going D6. Yeah. One move here or the next. He has to play D6 here, yeah. Because if he doesn't, then uh, bounces no, back uh, in the game. There's no other move. Like no uh, other move? Uh, that wins, let's say. Yeah. No. No, he's going to go D6. King G7 played, and he's going to play D6 in the next 30 seconds. Because you see King G7. Yeah. And there you go. And Magnus understands no, this yeah, is bad. I understand. So yeah, understands. he really understands. He, understands. He, uh, he can smell it, yeah. No, no, it's... He, he, might, he might even resign after rook d6, c5, rook a6, d5. He might just be thinking, you know what, this is just too disgusting for me to play. It, like, this position could be resigned for Magnus. Here, rook a6, d5. He might just give up. Because there's no. really... Yeah, yeah. No, no, he won't. Why not? Uh, g5, he still has rook d4. And yeah, and there's no direct uh, okay. threat. But there no, but if this move... But if g5 doesn't exist... No, there is a direct threat here, of course. D6 I is mean, after G5, Rook D4, there's not in the direct Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But what I'm saying is if it was white to move, yeah, D6 yeah, yeah. wins exactly. the game. No, that's why G5, Rook D4, G5. and now some move. But uh, of course, he will lose this position because this position is dead lost. But I don't think it's just resignable just yet. And this guy comes here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you will lose, of course. But you need to make a couple more moves to ensure. Yeah, it's bad news for you on the Easter egg front. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm uh, not, not in my good, no, my no. best... Uh, but I shape. mean, I gave you a good price at evens, but yeah, no, Richie is just too good. But it's more fun for the crowd... Yeah, uh, absolutely. ...to watch not only the match for the third place, but also the match for the first place, right? Otherwise, it's a bit of a bummer, like you suddenly you're watching a match for third place, but the first is decided. Yes. So now, you know, they are playing uh, for the biggest marbles. Yes. The biggest stage. Yeah, it's uh, GG after C5. Actually, there's one little line that you have to say. C5, bishop, c6, queen, f2, rook, e6. Yeah, no g4, but no g4 is... The no, it's uh, it's straightforward. It's really straightforward. No, that's... Queen e7. Queen e7. What is this? Queen e7 and then rook e2. There no is, way. There is hope. No way. There is hope. No way. Oh, it's still the game still goes on. No, this very much goes on. I mean, queen g3, rook g2, okay. Game definitely goes on a little bit. No way. I think he's gonna find it, by the way. I think he definitely finds it. Yeah, yeah, he definitely finds it. That's why first d6 was slightly more because this position is completely winning. But before initially d6 first, it because he didn't have that didn't option. Have that option, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. This option is unfindable for uh, normal humans, but maybe. Now Carlson in, in a deep tank, maybe he can spot it and then he's dead lost there in the end according to the computer, but it's a little bit of little bit of hope because White King is a little bit open. Yeah, I think he'll go for it. Yeah, yeah, yes at this point. The other stuff is losing even more. Wow, that's just incredible. Um It's the kind of resource that Hikaru finds in some kind of blitz game and then you mess it up anyway. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's see. Magnus Carlsen, will he find this brilliant idea? He knows back against the ropes. How many times, though? I mean, people also have to remember, right? We've been talking about how Magnus Carlsen is cruising, how he's just winning every game. There are times where he, you know, his positions are bad, and there have been periods where he's just had bad positions. Uh, and the reason why he's been world number one for uh, over 10 years is because he finds a way out of those positions. So he's a guy who can play on the front foot and on the back foot and under pressure, has got a good nervous system. All of these things contribute to his success. This is something that a lot of the other top players can't do as well. They can do it, but they can't do it as well. Uh, when your back is against the ropes, I think he said one 
one time years and years ago when I started commentating, he said, if he thinks, the, if he thinks that there is sort of 1% hope in a position, then he should give 99% effort. In other words, he, he always wants to, you know, this thing has been said many times before, but against these kind of genius top players, you have to beat them numerous times in the same game. They find resource after resource after resource after idea, and so you think you beat them, whereas, you know, if I were to have this position against somebody of my level, they collapse immediately, and I don't really, I know they're going to collapse, and I'll probably convert. If I play somebody world class, like Anish, they find the bishop c6, queen e7 genius rookie too, and then suddenly you thought you had won the game, and you're ready to celebrate, and now suddenly you've got a technical conversion which is a mess, and you're thinking, how, why, why is this happening, and why, why can't they just resign? They just never resign. You just never resign. Well, until you do. <laughs> it's true. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you don't, true. you don't resign until you do. Um, and, okay, luckily for Magnus here is that he, even if he loses this game, which is still the likeliest outcome, uh, he, he's got that, you know, he's got, he's got uh, the, still the whole tiebreak left. And, um, again, you should not judge him by his must draws, you know. His must draws have sometimes been not on it. Because also, he usually mobilizes for moments where, you know, for crucial moments. In some sense, must draw is not a crucial moment. If he loses, he's still, he's still in, in business. So he's not, also not fully mobilized. Though. I think that this game he will probably lose. Even if he finds this idea, Richie will convert it. The, the position in the end is kind of lost still. Either rook knight, bishop against queen, it's lost. He should probably lose eventually, but the tie break. The tie break, I still have him as a favorite. Of course, this game, by the way, he will be really thinking, like, what was that? Like, why did he play so risky in the opening? It was so uncalled for and unnecessary. Know, but do you know one thing he's really good at? Just immediately forgetting about it and just getting on with the next game. He could just like, you know what? That was really dumb of me. He's got his father here, his girlfriend's here. Um, you know, they're going to just say, forget about it. Look, you just play a new match, two-game match. Off you go. Do, do what you do best. And he'll just say, yeah, okay. He can bounce back real quick real quick. He doesn't let it affect him. Actually, I think that's one of Fabi's big uh, assets as well. He, he's got good bounce back ability for getting a game real quick. There's some players, I think, at the top that still can't get that, how did I do this in this game, out, out of their head. There are still some yeah. top players. Yeah, you have to show up to the next game as if nothing has happened. Yeah. Or play, no, no, you, not play as if nothing has happened. Yeah. Now, of course, he found the only uh, resource. He, I mean, he he found it, of course. He also tried to find it, so he, he did find it. But I just think it's probably no longer enough to save this particular game. But we'll see, we'll see. I don't know. I'm worried about my Easter egg now. Really? Yeah, yeah. No. I, I've got a weird feeling. No, but that position, it, no, it's it, looks, just too brilliant. it looks murky, but... It's, it's too brilliant. This is the idea. Lost. Queen no, this position, Magi Hori, I was thinking about it while you were giving a speech. I think it's lost. I think it's quite, it looks quite lost to me. Yeah, Queen G3. Oh, by the way, Rook C3. There's some Knight H5 as well to think about. Huh? Yeah, but then just GH and Queen, Queen G5. G3. Queen G5. And Queen G5. Yeah. What? Yeah, and then Rook F7 is nothing or what? I think I'm, I barely protected there. No, you don't. King H8, Rook F7. No, no, but I'm going to take on F7 just. Your Queen is already on G3, right? Ah. What? You speak about h 5 gh Yeah, queen you're g saying queen g3, queen g5. Yeah. Ah, sorry, the bishop's on c2. I thought it was on yeah, b3. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I also, beg your pardon. Yeah, no, this is fine. No, you uh, can't do No, this. but you have queen f6. I'm just wondering uh, how obvious is rook takes c2. Why do you take on g2? Why not take on c2? Ah, yeah, good point. I have some queen c5, no? Not d5. d5? Queen c5, rook 4, f2? I mean, what is this nonsense? I think white had a more trivial win uh, instead of d5, more normal win, just rook, uh, rook 4, f2. It's not a win, but it's, uh, yeah, rook takes f2, queen takes f2. Yeah, but this doesn't look winning. No, but it is. So rook, <laughs> rook d8, I think yeah, d5, queen d4 is probably the point. Uh, 
Yeah, it's not all. You have to see all this a little bit in advance. Mm, it's not it's so easy, all of it. And the nerves and the pressure. Are yeah, no, not so easy. I think not Rich, so easy. Richie probably suffers from worse nerves than Magnus. Well, that's for sure, actually. Um, you think so, yeah? I think so, yeah. Yeah, I guess he just put it Richie gets more emotional than Magnus. Mm, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know him that well. How, hard also, you know, to tell the way people talk and. You can't always tell how they feel. That's why it's nice to have these heart monitors, heart rate monitors, because the, the numbers don't lie. The hips don't lie. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Rishi, very annoyed, yeah? He's so queen seven. Very annoyed. Ah, so that's the way to play chess, yeah? When you're dead lost, you have to think real hard, yeah? <laughs> Apparently, yeah. Mm. That's what no, I never, said. I never tried, yeah, I should try. Yeah, you should try it one time. You know, I had a coach who, uh, who had a different theory. But yeah. maybe this one is more practical. Yeah. Okay. Rook e6 on the board, we're going to get this. And there's bishop b3 option as well here. That's uh, what uh, Rich is thinking about. Bishop b3 is a move as well. Bishop b3... g5... Rook f5. You are... losing material with bishop b4, bishop b6, f6. Yeah. Okay, it goes on. Rook, Rook e5, bishop d3, it goes on somehow. Wow, there's some discovery as well. So Nine, yeah. Ah, uh, 97, you mean, yeah? Yeah, 97. Particular, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Queen G3. Oh, Queen G3 and Queen E5, Queen E4 in the end. So this is just yeah. uh, winning, yeah. No, this has got super sharp suddenly. Okay, it's all kind of, like it's kind of, you know, kind of lost, half lost everywhere. But it, it is, it is not trivial just yet. The final line of defense has been erected. The final line of defense. If it crumbles, game is over. But it's, it's still there. Rich is in a tank. Crucial moment. And he has the time, so he will take his time, he'll think. Knight g4, queen e7. Knight f6, rook e2. Queen g3. Let's think about rook c2 and rook g2. Wow, this could actually get to a, a, a... If they use a bit of time here, which they probably will, this could get very, very uh, exciting with just a few minutes left each. Mm. They, they could easily be on three minutes left each, so... Yeah, I still want my pizza. I'm still hoping to get a pizza in this, in this room pizza? one day. Pizza? Oh, I think we're a bit late for that. Later? Yeah. Oh, Sunday. Do they do pizzas? Here? Monday, no? Monday, yeah, I mean, Easter. Easter, Easter Monday? Yeah, do they do pizzas? They probably probably do. not. No? I wouldn't have thought so, no. Pizza would be nice. Just to celebrate this beautiful spectacle of chess. Me, you, pizza, Magnus, Richard, MBL, Vincent. Well, how? What is a better way to spend Easter? True. Than, than in this wonderful company. I agree. Some nice, greasy salami pizza. Yeah, it's a crucial moment. Carlson... Uh, he just finds disgusted. resources. Yeah, disgusted. he's still disgusted. disgusted. Yeah, 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 yeah. He just took a sip of water as if it was... Uh, it came from a bottle of Grishuk, but it's... Uh, <laughs> but it's the position that disgusts him, not the, not the water. The water in Germany, I heard... Um, the tap water is amazing, I heard. It's good, yeah. Yeah, I heard it's really good. Yeah. Yeah. What is good here? Can't complain. Which is nice. What is it? Not good in in the Netherlands. In, it's also good in the okay. Netherlands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not good in some countries. Some it's not, good, not good. I don't re remember now. Yeah, I always check it whenever wherever I am. I, I don't know how it's in Spain, for example. No, it's it's not good in Spain. You yeah. can't you can't drink it in Spain. Yeah, right? not 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 in uh, a lot of places. It's really nice when you have good tap water because you often want to drink water. Yeah. And then if you are yeah you can just take it from the tap. It's very nice. 
So I think in that glass, Magnus might just have tap water. I'm not sure. I would actually say he doesn't have tap water. You think he has a bottle? I think he has a bottle. Yeah, that, that's what happens when you get, you know? When you become so champion. rich and so famous. Yeah. Even in Germany, you just get yourself bottled water. Yeah, yeah. 100%. I mean, this is like fly private jets, drinking bottled water. That's it. That's the life. That's all he yeah, does. But, do you, but yeah, but is that the life you want, though? <sighs> yeah. I mean, really? <laughs> Life just, just fly business, drink from the tap, just be normal, like... Okay. Why this whole, like... The charade, private jet? The private jet, I mean... Not needed? The bottled water, I mean, what else? Gold chain. What is it all for? Richie is in a massive, massive tank. Yeah. Because this could be the last thought um, needed in this game. And for that thought, you take a lot of time. If you find the wind here, you don't need to spend any more time. And, and also he feels, he has got that vibration, right? That he knows that there's a wind. He feels there must be a wind. And um, he also noticed Queen 7 resource. So he's trying to calculate the consequences. I have to say that knight g4, Queen 7 knight 6 rook g2, queen g3, rook g2. Even if that's winning, um, even if you think that's winning, it is just doesn't feel clean, right? You don't right. want this kind of imba material imbalance and right. open king a little bit opened, a little bit. Um, you might think it's a win, but you don't define it in your head as a clean win. You're looking for, mm -hmm. I would be looking for a cleaner one first before mm -hmm. settling on that. Mm -hmm. Like computer might say to plus three and a half, but this is not the plus three and a half no. that you want. Absolutely. Like I want the plus three and a half with an extra piece on oh, the board absolutely. and everything else clear. Now there is some kind of imbalance. I want a cleaner win. So, um, so bishop, bishop b3. b3. Okay. Now yeah, this, that was the other one, but yeah, yeah. This allows the complications with g5. This is this is. We're not talking about it, right? Yeah, g5 yeah, only g5. move. Rook f5 only move. Bishop e4 only move. Bishop e6 only move. F3 only move. Rook e5 only move. Bishop d3 only move. Bishop f5. Bishop d3 only move. No, you exchange down. You exchange down. You're dead lost. You exchange okay. down. You have to go bishop d3, and now and you have knight g4. So now rook e6, I can play. Yeah, but that's exactly how you don't win against Carlson. Yeah, one one. No, 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 yeah, no. Just one pawn, you don't want just one pawn. And you've got the blockade. Rook e8, rook e8, queen e8, some kind of technical conversion is needed. Maybe knight end game is winning. It's probably winning, but yeah, it's been more winning before. Okay, let's see, let's see. This, still, this position is still winning, but it is uh, not trivial. Not trivial. Yeah, bishop e4 only move. Because uh, otherwise you're collapsing. You're collapsing. I'm curious, has, has Richie seen the whole line? Did he see bishop d3 in the end, for example? I don't know, actually. I don't, I don't get the impression that he has seen it. No, I think he might have missed bishop d3 in the end. Yeah. He's on d7, queen g3, I think. Bishop b4 played. Yeah, he's got a take on a6. He's going to do that. There's no option. No reason not to yeah, also. Yeah, you have to. Takes. Yeah, you have to go rook e5. Rook takes f6 is uh, not not yeah. enough. It's an equal endgame. Okay, yeah, bishop d3. Has, has he seen that move, I wonder? Yeah, that's going to be interesting. Well, you need to play this move as white because otherwise knight g4 just ends the game. No? So, of course, he plays it. I'm sure, no, Magnus plays it, but my question is has Richie anticipated all of this and planned rook takes e6? Or has he missed this, this idea? That's the question. You can miss it. It's a few moves deep into the line. You're already tired, nervous, all of that. Uh, very forgivable that you miss. Uh, yeah, he missed it. He missed it. He's yeah, like. He missed it. Like, again, I'm not winning the game. He Unbelievable. Missed he missed it. He just missed it. He can go for the uh, end game with uh, uh, this rook d1, let's say. Knight g4. Na Queen takes f8, knight takes g4. Or knight takes g4, I guess it's the same, yeah? Knight g4, rook f2. Yeah, probably knight g4 is more normal. Rook f2, knight f2. Play this position. Oops. But it's... Um, yeah, this position is looking very good for white, but 
no, the game, bishop c4, the game certainly continues here. No, this is totally unclear, right? I mean, white is completely in the driver's seat, but uh, it is not, not uh, But this is a win. very distant uh, memory from, or a very distant... Uh, Plate, by the way. This is a very distant, what's the word? image for, of what Richard was, had in his mind compared to 20 minutes ago. Yeah, and this is going to happen now. It's happening. Yeah, it's happening. Yeah, unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievable. That's also why he's the best, because he finds that ultimate resource. Uh, the good news is, mm -hmm. my Easter egg is back, al back alive. Yeah, no, the Easter eggs are jumping, you know? You're very alive here. You're very alive. Yeah. No, my Easter egg is uh, it's just become a chicken. Okay. White still has a very good winning chance of the bishops for knight g4, knight e3. Knight g4, knight e3 is a nice maneuver. I need to dislodge the bishop from guarding the e6 and d5 square. These are the vital squares. I need to dislodge the bishop. This is very slippery, this position. It's very, very slippery against a uh, great defender, and Rishi is facing um, just that. It's very, very slippery. Yeah, this is, this is not, uh, not ideal. Uh, okay, bishop c4 played. And Rishi will play knight, knight Yeah, yeah, knight g4, the, uh, it's clear. You, th these are the squares you need to fight for. Knight and f2 is uh, pretty poor. Pretty poor. The only uh, alternative uh, path for the knight from f2 is maybe you are, uh, maybe you want to get it to e5. Mm -hmm. Maybe you are like, okay, have your bishop on d5, but I'll have my knight on e5 and rook to f7. Actually, mm -hmm. that looks to me even more winning. To get knight g4, rook back, and knight e5. That would be nice. But I don't know if I'm in time, though, to do all this maneuvering. But if I could, knight to e5, rook to the f file, I'll be doing, uh, I'll be doing very well. Yeah. Agreed. And now G4 played. Now I'm curious what move Carlson will make. I don't find this position clear. I guess Bishop D5. I don't know. I don't find this. Uh, I don't find it easy now to make a move for Black. Richie could still win, huh? Oh, definitely, no, definitely, definitely, definitely. I know I've been singing Magnus's praises for the past few moves, but Richie could... No, I mean, he is, uh, he only the only thing that happened so far is that he, he hasn't converted the position into a win, but he's still in a, in a driver's seat and he is still much, much better. Um, it is not like Carlson already escaped, but let's just say Carlson is escaping. We are witnessing his escape alive. Like, he just ra escaped the prison and he's running. The police is chasing him still. He's still chasing, they just have to shut the borders. But you know this guy, if he already escaped, usually it's bad news. He's got all, of course, already police bribed and everything. He's coming out. A difficult moment. Critical Five moment. Five minutes Critical moment, for actually. Magnus Carlsen. Because a bad move could be the end of the game. Yeah. Yeah, not a good move, Bishop B3. Not a good move according to the computer at all. Bishop b3, not a good move. No, because it doesn't do anything. I just go rook d2. Yeah, I think he's just trying to think of a plan as well, which is, you know, understandable. Computer doesn't like bishop b3. But maybe he has got some, uh, maybe he's got some point, some human point he's got that the computer doesn't understand. Let's, let's have a, a, a big close up right here of the players, if we can, uh, in this tense moment. I'll presume. Okay, we haven't got a close. Here we go. Tense. You, I like the I like the the, the, the side on view. You know, you, you, you see the tension. Mm. Meanwhile, the Twitter crowd. Uh, let's see. Any tweets for Anish here? By the way, what did we get? Rook D2, okay. 
<laughs> okay, we, we got some interesting uh, comments on the, uh, the artist uh, we were talking about before, Anish. About the Kunst, artist, the Kunstler. No, uh, the Kunstler. Kunstler. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I, I'm not sure. I mean, I should get the reference normally. I do have a fine command of bad English words, but I don't, <laughs> don't quite know where you're going. Which says, please be quiet, haters, please don't hate. Yeah, I, th I thought that was his idea. I thought that I was his idea. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. you know what is, you know what's happening. Okay. He is absolutely um, terrified of the idea of knight coming to e5, the one that I told you about, rookie one ninety five. So he is doing, uh, dislodging the knight mm -hmm. at all costs. Mm -hmm. I he, like it. Computer doesn't, but I think he thinks that Forget this the is the key. And he went bishop b three, so that after h five ninety three, bishop b three, rook d three, like wouldn't happen. So. This is his point, yeah. No, I thought that he wants to go h5. It was also the move that came to my mind, actually. I well, think Richie's going to go knight h2 to come to f3 now. But then bishop d5. I know it's your bishop d5. Yeah, yeah, no. Uh, it's very interesting how computers thinking so differently about the game. And it's being so concrete about things, while humans, they just want to prevent knight e5. Such simple-minded creatures humans are. Your computer was suggesting some strange queen f8 move. Uh, it was a little beyond me also what, what the, the idea was. It was very much beyond me. Some concrete business, but I didn't quite understand. Some queen f4 probably was coming. Queen f8, strange move. Yeah, uh, very cool solution by the way computer offers. Knight f2, bishop d5, h4. Yeah, I was looking at that. That's very, very cool. And the I point know. is, if you if you go g four, h one, rook h five, just oh, and then rook g five, check. And g h is probably your best, uh, your most G8. normal. And then knight h three, and that's actually beautiful. Rook f two, rook g five, swinging, just getting mated there somewhere. Wow, that's that's pretty amazing. Curious if Rich will find. You might it. find it, you know. I don't know. I, I don't think so. I mean, I, I don't think that's a normal thing to find. Knight f2 played. Okay, so bishop d5 is kind of forced because knight e4 is in the air, right? Yeah, Carlson might have spotted g h4. Might have just spotted h4. But it's too late because knight e4 is a threat. Yeah. And bishop, otherwise, he would have played bishop d5 instantly, but he saw now h4 is coming. I think Richie sees h4. Yeah, it's the only move that actually wins. That actually wins, uh, that kind, kind, of, kind of clinches it. Not just yet, but very close to clinching it. Because otherwise, if you don't go h4, black is alive. Queen mm -hmm. of 6 is coming. Mm -hmm. You got some stabi stability. The bishop on d5 is stabilized. h4 really breaks it all apart. If you tell the move to anyone, immediately they'll realize it's the best move. But you just have to spot it. You just have to spot gh, knight, h3 idea somehow. Once you spot it, it's, it's not a usual idea. I can easily imagine a person missing it, especially in a tense moment like that. Yeah, h4 and h3 is a very unusual, very difficult idea. Okay, didn't find it. Yeah, normal. I mean, we are here with computers, so we are slightly blinded. We're slightly blinded. Oh, my oh this is a normal. Uh, this is a normal way to convert, by the way, to try to convert. G4. Uh huh. Some tactics. G4. Tactics. A G queen G. Activating the queen, trying some uh, some tricks. Trickster. <laughs> trickster. He's a trickster. Yeah, there's rook f2 here. A g rook f4 wins wins the g pawn. Oof. It just wins. That's really just very very strong. Yeah, knight e4 uh, was normal. G4 a bit a bit rushed. Yeah, uh, g4 was a bit rushed. Uh, he slightly right. panicked into that move. Right. I think he missed rook of two, rook of four. Because after a g, you just you losing the pawn. Just I mean, he, he had some better attempts instead of g four. Mm. Um, he got slightly, uh, slightly excited about this possibility. Um, queen g five, you know, some perpetual ideas, and he thought, okay, anyway, it's probably lost, so I just. But he could he could try something something else. Though it was hard to find the move. Queen d five was rook e five. Queen f six was rook of two. 
and then look at it so yeah no, he wants queen g5 right yeah, yeah. no now rich has to find rook, rook of two is okay that that's that that he, he'll find this is just uh easy math easy math yeah, rook, f2. rook e2 oh ah, well not found also logical to put the rook on e2 right no, no, okay a g rook e6 but then there's some perpetual or put well not perpetual but some mating. Perpetual is not there because I have rookie one. Some but mating G3. net, yeah, some mating And net. white has a bunch of checks, but I will go to f8 and to e7 and to f7 and then to f6. Yeah, I don't think you have a win there. I'm just going to stay there. Yeah, what does he want? Oh, he wants g3 maybe after uh, g. g3. Yeah, g3. That's a, that's a nice move. Yeah, g3, g3. Yeah, no, this is this is the way. That's what he wants. Instantly, we'll play the g3. Yeah, g3 is good. Yeah, 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 instantly, yeah. yeah. And obviously, that's how you must play chess, yeah. And now he wants to look at four, rook e4. Four. He wants to win that pawn, he found a systematic way of winning mm -hmm. it. The other is like opportunistic, rook f2, rook f4, mm -hmm. because of the pieces on the g file. Mm -hmm. This is a systematic way of winning it. You first block it, and then you collect it. Yeah, Richie is still looking comfortable. Yeah, it's not, not over just yet. But it's very close. It's a very clean. It's very position. easy to collapse here as black, though, because you. you, you just I mean, uh, you have to find something. You have, maybe you have ideas. already collapsed. Yeah. That's the thing. Maybe you have already collapsed at this point. You have to be a computer to put up any resistance here at all. But even computer is collapsing from the lines that I see. Computer suggesting. Yeah. He's losing pawns. It's collapsing. I mean, there is some. You need the king on the h file, that's for sure, um, for rook, f, rook e4. And then you put the queen on h6, and after rook g4, you have queen c1 check. That's the idea. So the defense for black is after rook f4, rook e4, you want king on h7, queen on h6. That is sort of a defensive construction. Con yeah, let's say king h7 now. Uh, rook f4, let's say queen g6, rook e4, and now queen h6. Uh, rook g4, queen c1 check. So you're not collapsing um, thanks to this trick. And that's how you somehow still keep it together. Okay, uh, now if rook f4. Queen d3 he wants. Rook g4. King f6 on the move? Or rook yeah. f2 check? Yeah. Rook f2 check. Yeah, yeah. You're rook right. G2 and slides rook up. F4. No, but just uh, yeah, rook g4, key rook f2, it's, it's, it's all it's over. Fly. No, no, he he didn't find a defense there. No. No, even that what I mentioned with this king h7, queen h6, it looks so terrible. No, it's it's not really uh, it's not really holding. It's just sort of trying to put up some resistance. But of course, it was also collapsing. Computer also said it's lost. This is already lost. But you are losing the h pawn, the g pawn now with with the check, in all the lines. Okay, queen d three. Yeah, but just rook g four. Now you play king f two. Can you show me why yes. why not rook g four? No, I think rook g four is probably okay. Nothing wrong with it. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, rook f two check was not 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 accurate. Oh, because the king is suddenly running, yeah. It's not completely winning for white. Wow, interesting. King comes to c6, b6, cb king b6, so. Huh. Nice, yeah. The king f2 is. Uh, computer was saying king f2, by the way. This is a cleaner move. Very impressed. Yeah, it's a cleaner move because queen g6, you have rook e4. But it's a very. Very cool by Richie. Uh, very cool of Richie not to resist this, to collecting the pawn and giving checks, yeah. Because you think, okay, you win the pawn, but this is really, really nice. You also want to keep that king cut off, the black king. You don't want it to, to cross to c6 and get to safety. Yeah, still looks very bad for Magnus. One minute, 42 left on the clock. 
very unlikely he saves this. No, it's co completely collapsing the position, right? Oh, white wants to uh, collect the e6 pawn, maybe. Uh, also. If, if it was my move. Maybe I just want to take on e6 and come back? And come back? Why not? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. That's what I want, actually. This is, looks very, very bad for me. Oh, the whole thing is falling apart completely. Yes, I think it's a kind of resignable territory soon. Queen b3? Yeah, because you collect the g4 pawn and then you go rook g2 e4. And then you, you collect the e6 pawn with the check as well. Yeah. Rook g4, oh, rook f4 check. Yeah, he wants to win it with check. Uh, rook g4 was queen d5, so he wants to win it with the check. Yeah, two pawns uh, and two rooks for a queen, it's completely winning. It's completely winning. King G7 looks to me like more tenacious of the most, but I don't know. Magnus still has some hopes, it seems, yeah? I'm not sure. I think he might be acting. Okay, King G7. Yeah, yeah, King G7, I don't quite. Queen D5? Queen D5. Queen D5. Queen D5. Oh, or maybe. Yeah. Queen D3. G2. It's only one pawn, it's not two, it's only one pawn. Uh, this e6 pawn hasn't fallen yet. I don't need two pawns, one is more than enough. Okay, he will go king g2 here. Actually, conversion might be quite long. Like, I, I think he will convert, but it, it might take a long time to mm -hmm. win this position because mm -hmm. black is not, you know, collapsing sort of. Black, black is just kind of lost because of material, but it's not. Um, not C6 makes sense. Yeah, he's just sort of in general lost. But he's not completely forced. Rook 4 Maybe getting some time on the clock. I'm wondering, yeah, does he try... Does he want to try to... To enter the seventh rank, like rook of two, rook is three, seven, because I think that that could be, could be wrong. Ah, rook f two, king e seven, rook g seven, like this. Yeah, because um, maybe with only one rook, your king is not as secure. I think he's going to go back. No, no, he's going for it. Oh no, he's going for it. Hold on. Computer didn't like it at all. No, but no, no, but no. It, it has to be all very winning still, very winning. I mean, white has two rooks and a pawn against the queen. That's a lot of material. That's just winning, completely winning territory. Oh, rook g7, rook gf7. That's the idea. And then e5, only move. Because I want to give you mate with rook f8, rook f7. That's really nice. That's, that, looks like the, that looks like, by the way, like a forced win. Rook g7. And it would be a forced win. King e8, rook gf7, the point being that after takes. It's just made. It's made in two. But you have this e5 move, which is absolutely the absolute last resort. And then, okay, then your king comes out, and you are just still technically lost, but not, not completely, completely lost. Now, this is rook of 8, rook of 7, rook 8, so you must collect the other pawn. Okay. This looks so lost. But. But the evaluation is not, yeah, not like it's... You play b5, Magnus? Yeah, yeah, he has to, okay, he has to. D? Uh-huh. Queen d5. Yeah, you know, this can go wrong somehow. Of course it can go wrong. It can definitely go wrong. Queen c5. There's no forced win here. There's no forced win. Oh my god. He's still... Uh, How does he do it? He already like... How does he even get here? He's not even the last line of defense. He's like way beyond. How does he even get He's here? He's burning down his own... How does he do it? His own... How many retreats. people would have lost by now? Yeah, I have to say though, of course... Yes. Richard's playing very well this game. 
but he hasn't finished it off yet. No. He, he's not playing it like a computer. <laughs> I have to disappoint him. Richie is not a computer. This is the conclusion. What? He's very good. Richard is unable to play chess like an engine. And then it's very hard to beat Carlson. If you are not able to play like an engine, it's very difficult. Richie is trying. He's playing very well. But, uh, Queen e3. He will go e6, I think. I think e6. How is the pawn endgame after e6? Yeah, this I have rook f8, rook f7. This is my point. I'm winning the pawn endgame. But he will not take. He will go e7. I can play rook f8 there. Okay, king h3 by Richie. Where is he going? Is okay, now he's going to push, for sure. But the problem is you can't create. No, no, right. yeah. yeah. I mean, you, you, you should still push. Because king e7. Or yeah, king e7. Rook f7, king e6, rook f6, king d5. You're escaping. You're escaping. Yeah, you walk around the pawn. Yeah. He went back oh, to this me. is stronger, because now the pawn is unblocked. And king e8 is stronger. It's better defense. Because your king guards the e-pawn. Right. I'm not sure, I don't understand the move king h3, because now after e6, the queen e6 is always a check. So I don't know where exactly the king is going. Rich is trying to walk around and come up the board, maybe. Uh, Richie, by the way, I know the stage he entered now. He is in some sort of a tilt. Like you have that, mm -hmm. you have this win, win tilt. I, at some point, when your opponent defends for so long and so well, and you haven't finished off the game that you should have finished a long time mm -hmm. ago, you enter that win tilt situation mm -hmm. where you are like, okay, it has to be winning, and you start playing mm, thoughtlessly. Mm -hmm. And then you win or not, already by accident. Like it's just, he's in that tilt. I think he wants to push. Yeah, at, that, at this point he's just gonna push something and he's gonna see like, okay, whatever. If the position doesn't win itself, then okay, well, how, who will win it? I mean, yeah, I uh, think he's that's what he wants to do. He's tilted. But king is seven, not king is five, yeah. King is seven, the more resilient still. Yeah, king is seven feels like the move. He will play that, yeah. Yeah, he yeah. will play He already this. played the similar move before. Yes. No! Oh, wow, wow, wow. Wow. Now he's just going to go lost, easy. Lost patience there. Rook d8! Big mistake! Where is he? Why is he checking him? What is he doing? Where what, is is, he? what is this check? King c5. Anyway, you cannot win by force. King c5 before king b6, so why did he give a check? King c4? King c4 even stronger. And even now, stronger. Oh my goodness. He should have gone e6, keeping the rooks together. Yeah. Uh, because now the rooks are not together. Oh, he's messing this one up, by the way. Oh no. Easter, queen g5. Oh no. My oh Easter no, egg. No, no, My no. Easter egg. No, 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 no. Queen h5, queen e2 is there. He's gonna win the e6 pawn for free. Okay, he's winning. He won the e6 pawn for free. Queen h5, queen e2 is there. Rook f8, queen h5, queen g2, queen e2, and queen takes e6. Oh, and now we are. Uh, now we have a position which is already. Uh, that is very hard to convert. That is like legit hard to convert. To the point that it just might be a draw already. Also, the king has actually activated. Even the king has activated itself. You can reason. lose this position. No, 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 you can't lose, but uh, you can definitely not win it. Yeah, if you try too hard, you can lose. Mm, yes, I, mean, I don't know how. Like, you, you know, when you have two rooks, you can always defend, but yeah, winning is that's what we need. That's not, not happening. He messed it up so bad, but I tell you, I felt the tilt. I, I also very often enter that stage. It's a remarkable uh, sensation. The vibrations. The, no, the vibrations are off at that point. There are no vibrations. No, you've been vibrating for so long. <laughs> You're tired. <laughs> it starts hurting and you just... Uh, yeah, and you just... The, ma the pain Richie's, is numb. Richie's just... No, Magnus like, is thrilled. Richie's like... How is... No, he's in disbelief. Yeah, yeah. No, after the, the, the tilt, at some point you mess it up completely and then your head comes back to you and you're like, what have I done? Uh, rook f4 check is probably what he will try, but then king c3. Is it king, king c3? King b3. Yeah, king b3, I was sort of hoping that. I don't know what I was hoping, yeah. Yeah, king b3 maybe also. Why not? King d3 is not king c2. King a2 also. Incredible. Magnus Carlsen, another Houdini job. How many times have we seen this over the years? So he's going to um, 
Yeah, by the way, computer prefers king c5. I also like king c5 more. King b3 a little bit exposing the king. King c5 better. But he might go king b3, by the way, at this point. Mm, I don't know. Bo both don't look bad. Curious what he'll do. Yeah, king b3, a human, human. Human mistake. Computer says it's losing. It's a huge mistake, actually. Because your king is in some sort of a mating mating net actually I will give a check on the third then on the second then yeah. on the first at yeah. some point so it is a very responsible move King B3 very responsible. very responsible move he should have gone to C5 and it would have been would have been a draw oh, he's just sort of feeling it yeah Magnus he's thought okay things are going his way very much so he just slightly lost slightly careless Rook P3 with just only two seconds he played that move. yeah no it's, uh, Rich is uh, completely gone <laughs> Rich is completely gone. You too, but how do you no, he won't play rook. I don't think he'll play rook f3. He'll play rook d f3. He'll play rook d f3, Richie. Yeah, rook d f3 is coming. For some reason, that's a mistake. Yeah, that's a human move. I don't know why it's a mistake. Queen d6 check. Yeah, maybe g4. Maybe g4. Maybe yeah, king of course g2. he'll play g4. Maybe king g2 also. Yeah, g4. yeah, g4. Okay, now we've got... Okay, this is a nice king one. King takes b2. This is a nice one. Uh, the rooks are unable to, if the rooks were to jump over each other, yeah, they would, would be mate in two, but they cannot, the rooks cannot, you know. G2. Now c5 comes, he could win it, I'm telling you. No, but you. then rook g, c5, rook g3, rook f2, king h1, rook g1 I want. Wait, c5? Rook g, so yeah, c5, rook g3, c4, rook f2, king b1. Luckily, you didn't have time for, uh, for c3, c2. Yeah, now king h1. Yeah. Almost mate, but a check. queen h6 check on the move. This is all happening, of course, as we... Oh, oh, wait, wait, Magnus, Magnus did something. He did something, queen d5. Queen d5, no good. <gasps> but, but now, it's now he good. gave him a tempo. But now, queen now it's made, now it's made. No, oh, no, 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 he, he, blundered. he blundered, he blundered. He, he blundered. realizes. No, now oh, it's just wow, made. No, it's all, it's all over. This is, wow. And now it resigns. Now, wow. it's, now it's just forced mate, yeah. King c1 only move. Uh, King c1 only move. Rook f2, queen e f queen d6, queen e5. And then, you still, it's still tricky. A little bit, yeah. King c1 only move, I think. I, but maybe, probably it's losing by force, but it looks like only move still. It's still tricky. Or queen e5 you can start with. Similar idea. Yes, 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 yes. With the... No, still, it's, there's still not a, not no, a no, mate. No, this is not, this is not trivial. I do have also g-pawn. I can combine it with a g-pawn. I know, and I have c-pawn. So, yes. And when you move it, then I have some more checks. So my win after... Um, it goes like this, king c1, rook of 2, queen e5, g5, that's, that's the win. You go some b or c pawn, and then I go g6, queen h8 check, king, king g2, and g7. I combine mate and g pawn, and I win. Queen e5 play, no, let's watch this out, let's yeah. just see how this plays. Oh, but he'll win it, rook of 2 and g5, yeah. king c1. and just g5, g5. King b1? King b1 he played. King b1. Yeah, he wants to give a path for the C-pawn. G5, C4, G6, C3, G7, C2. Yeah. No, but then Rook of 1 and G8, Queen. Or Queen, yeah. Queen and Queen A2. Yeah. <gasps> What's he doing? Why not G5? Mm -hmm. Richie, G-pawn. Richie, don't forget about the G-pawn. It's your only chance. He's he's G-pawn. This is... There's no time! He was on time! He was on time? No. No. He just made it. He just seconds. made it. He was about to lose on time. Yeah, I, saw it, I saw it live. Okay, he's lucky he can repeat moves once. Carlson will go maybe to d1. Yeah. He'll maybe go to d1. He should yeah. go to d1. Yeah, and then the king can yeah, go. Yeah, king e1 and be annoying. Be annoying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, he should go definitely go to d1. Rook Come on. Two. Definitely go to d1. Also Don't repeat. No seconds definitely go to d1. King d1 play. Yes. Yes, 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 exactly. Okay, now it's less clear. G5, king e1. Yeah, no, this That's is. Back to square one. <laughs> Richie, he doesn't see the, he doesn't see G5 idea. He just King doesn't H3, see the idea. No, he doesn't, but he see, doesn't see the idea he that the G pawn is pushing. King H3 played. He's trying to give checkmate. You understand? Yes. He doesn't realize that there is also the G5 King idea. King played. Madness. He's escaping. Escaping again. Houdini, oh. Harry Houdini in the flesh. I don't know if Magnus is uh, Houdini, but Richie is definitely not a stockfish. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> I can tell you that. Richie is very strong. He's not a stockfish. Magnus has been lost 55,000 times this game, by the yeah, way. Like, like, 
Ryuji was so close. In Wait, the end, before? like he just had to find. Wait, before natural, Ryuji won. Oh, okay. Now it's again, again, and he entered the tilt again. He's just making moves without thinking. Yeah, he's not thinking now. No, yeah. no he's not thinking. He's gone. Yeah, he's yeah, playing purely on he's intuition. Just no. Purely instincts. Yeah, he is uh, totally tilted. And he knows he can't make a draw, so he has to try and find a win. Yeah, no, he's going to keep making moves, but it's already a completely mindless tilt at this point. Can you run back? Wow, impressive move. I would think you can finally escape, but yeah, you can never escape. There's too many lateral checks. You know, Richie is, uh, yeah, Richie is very shaky right now. But you know, there could still be a plot twist here because Black is, of course, you know, in some chronic danger here, yeah, with mm -hmm. the king. But he does have a past pawn to push, so white that cannot, uh, white cannot stand forever. White has to try and create a threat. Also, white has to be careful not to allow the threefold. Isn't it threefold? That's it. It's threefold. Is it? Must be. It feels like, but maybe it, it wasn't. It feels like threefold. Like since both players so casually s stepped over that moment. No, focus. now it really is. Oh, he just he just gives wow, him a draw. He gives he him a draw. Gave he gave it up. Wow. Yeah, he had, wow. he has had enough. He said enough. He, at some point, the yeah, nerves he said enough. just. Yeah, yeah. No, he's like, okay. He, there's up. no win. Also, there's no win. There's no win, and he. Uh, well, with that wow, epic. Harry Houdini act. Yeah, imagine you're escaping so much that the opponent just gives up at some point. Not only has Magnus Carlsen become Grenka Chess Classic 2024 champion, I owe you an Easter egg. Oh no, we're even. That's good news. Yes, nobody owes anybody an Easter egg. How did he do that? Magnus Carlsen, he was dead. He was dust. He was, there was no hope. The, there were 